Hey what's up guys, this is my first tutorial and I want to introduce the GoPro intro tutorial. This pretty easy effect which you can do in 4-5 minutes and this is what we, uh, we are going to do. Ok so let's begin, file, new, new project, composition, new composition, 5 seconds long, black color, ok. Now we have to find the GoPro camera and the GoPro logo image, you can google them and it is uh, pretty easy to find them. So import in the project. We will take the image, camera image, and bring it in the timeline. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't have the background color because uh, uh, this format is a PNG format, but uh, maybe you can have the or you can find the JPEG format so you will have the background color. In this case you have to masking the camera by the masking tool. You will take the pen tool and uh, start to masking the camera. Ok, and you will delete the background. Ok, now we have to uh, create the reflection effect. So, uh, Ctrl D to duplicate the image, right click on it, transform, flip vertically and uh, bring down the duplicate image like this. Now we have to do the same with the logo. I did it with the um, oh fuck. I did it with the Photoshop. It uh, it's it's uh, more easy to do. So let's do the same. Um, okay. So. Ctrl D, right click, transform, flip vertical and bring it down again like, uh, like this. <clears throat> now we want to create the reflection effect, so click on both of the duplicate image, press T and bring the opacity to 20, like this. Okay, now we have to link the duplicate image with the original one, like, like, like this. Okay, so we have this effect. Okay, now we have to bring the logo behind the image because um, it's here that we want uh, the uh, logo in the first frame okay uh, now we have to create a new solid layer new uh, new solid black color press ok uh, what we want to see is just the camera in the first frame but not the logo so we have to dry the solid on top of the logo but behind of the camera like this okay so now we have to link the solid with the camera because we want to uh, move the solid exactly as the camera. We will see the effect. Now go to the first second. Take the image, press P for the position, keyframe, go 5, 6 frame after, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, and move the camera to the left, like this. Okay, 
Now we have to do the same with the logo. So take the logo, press P for the position, go to the first keyframe by clicking here. Mm, keyframe, go to the second keyframe and move the logo <coughs> to the right, like this. Okay, like this. And the effect will be this. Alright, we are done uh, with the motion. Okay. Um, now let's create fantasy effect by clicking here. And, uh, uh, and activate from here uh, for creating the blur effect. Okay, this looks pretty good.